here's some science you can look at. Here's uh, here's actually the historical um, correlation between temperature and CO2 in Earth's past. See how it doesn't correlate at all? You know, there's a problem here. This is, and then, uh, anyways, we had some beautiful uh, information on there that, that unfortunately is is no longer available. So. And that's the, you know, that's the key here because I don't want people to think that I'm against the environment or that I'm against animals. Obviously, I love nature. I think it's so important for us to protect it. But the answer is not to tax people. That That is not the solution to this problem. There are other solutions. And, you know, so obviously, thank you so much, J.D., for joining us. And you can find more information um, on J.D. King and his projects at bluebeatsgreen.com. So thank you so much. We'll keep in touch. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWar store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. After yesterday's horrific tragedy in San Bernardino, California, people are demanding answers as to why assailants opened fire, killing 14 people and wounding several others. Some people have gone as far as to speculate it was because of Christmas. I think we will eventually get some indication on what that dispute was about. Uh, this was a holiday party. Uh, maybe it was called a Christmas party. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's it, so many potential triggers here. We've seen groups like ISIS brag about how they use open immigration policies to sneak their militants into various nations. In reaction to this, many United States governors have said that they're not going to accept refugees into their respective states. Now, we know not all refugees are terrorists. We know most refugees are not militants. But with the flimsy excuse of a Christmas tree or Christmas decorations that set this guy off, we're going to ask the people here at UT, should we ban religious festivities on public universities? We're asking people if religious holidays should be allowed on public universities. Definitely. Definitely. Religious holidays should be allowed in public universities? I think so. You mean like they should celebrate Christmas in a classroom or just set up like Christmas decorations on the sidewalk? Set up Christmas decorations on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
So if they set up something like a Christmas tree or anything like that, would that offend you at all? No, it wouldn't offend me. I think, I think it's fine. So if they set up a Christmas tree or anything like that, that wouldn't offend you? No, at all. Okay. It's all about respect. So if they set up a, a Christmas tree or something else out here, would that bother you at all? No, I think that'd be okay. So if somebody set up a Christmas tree out here, that wouldn't offend you at all? No, <laughs> not in the slightest. Because I don't know if you heard, uh, many people are speculating that yesterday's very unfortunate shooting in San Bernardino was somehow religiously uh, motivated. In California, but I feel like that's only like relevant to like, only there are like, a few outlier people who would actually go to do that sort of thing. And I feel like it's more, it's more beneficial to let people celebrate their holidays. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. John Coleman founder of the Weather Channel on cable television. Coleman was also the original weather caster on the ABC Network morning program, Good Morning America. For many years, he was a uh, full professional member of the American Meteorological Society. He's a meteorologist, obviously, and was once honored as Broadcast Meteorologist of the Year. Coleman uh, had a 61-year career in television, extending from the campaign uh, of, uh, from Champaign, Illinois, uh, to Milwaukee, Chicago, New York City. And uh, Coleman has become very active in his efforts to counter the global warming climate change frenzy. His studies of the climate data convinced him that there is no significant man-made global warming. And uh, his beloved science of meteorology has been hijacked by a cadre of politicians and environmentalists. And the scientists who uh, they generously fund to provide scientific papers supporting their failed theory. When I was a kid, I'm 81 years old. When I was a kid, a thermometer was a little stick of wood with a little tube of mercury attached to it. And the best you could possibly read the temperature was within one or two degrees. I mean, its accuracy was <laughs> pretty questionable. And now they're telling us we have records because of hundreds of a degree. You've got to be kidding. If you look at the pattern over, the, let's say, the last thousand years, temperatures have gone up and down. We had the medieval warm period. We had the little ice age. And you see that little squiggle on the extreme right-hand side of your screen, the last little red squiggle on this chart? That's the warming of the 20th century and of the 21st century. It is nothing. It is insignificant. And it is far less than the Middle Eastern warm period. And they're telling us it's the warmest Earth has ever been. You know why that is? They have manipulated the data. It's an amazing thing. And we even caught them with the Copenhagen documents. We even caught them with the hide the decline emails, but they are so committed to this that they just continue to move forward. Well, they do whatever they can. It's, it's, it's a screaming outrage. Uh, this is our federal government, NOAA, the National Weather Service, at its National Data Climate Center down in Charleston, South Carolina. They, these people have manipulated the temperatures four times. And in the process, they have made the past cooler so the present is comparatively warmer. Only by a degree or two, but enough for them to scream and holler about global warming. So I heard about Al Gore being elected to the U.S. Senate after he wrote a book about climate change. And I said to the man who worked for me, a man named Joe DeLeo, who is a certified consulting meteorologist of great reputation. And he was he worked with me as my uh, scientist uh, helper when I was doing Good Morning America and then went with me to the Weather Channel. I said to Joe, I said, what's this all about? I'm very skeptical because I, was, I saw this whole Ice Age thing. And he said, let's research it. And we began to research. And the more and more we researched in the early ages of computers before the internet was easy, we finally came to the real facts that uh, how it all happened and how, what started Al Gore. And I'm speaking to you today from San Diego, and just a few miles from me is where the modern problem began at the Scripps Oceanographic Institution. And there, uh, a man named Roger Ravel and a man named Hans Seuss had come up with a study that said, yes, global warming was being caused by carbon dioxide. Uh, it was a small study, it wasn't a big deal, but it started something back in the smog, uh, fifth, the smoggy 50s. But we've cleaned up the atmosphere hugely since then with great technology and science. But never mind, uh, that started something. And Roger Revelle then went to Harvard. 
He left the Scripps Oceanographic Institute in anger, went to Harvard and started the Center for Population Studies. But he talked about this problem with carbon dioxide in his class. And in the front row of his very first class, who was the freshman student? Al Gore. And Al Gore gobbled on to this and made it the meaning of his life. Now, a few years later, Ravel realized that the global warming wasn't happening and tried to take it back. But Al Gore was already in the Senate and beginning to spend tens of millions of dollars on science to support this, this awful theory. To make himself the savior of the world. I mean, if you're writing the script, I can see why they did it. You, you write a screenplay where you're the hero. And so here we were. And so I learned that how wrong this was and how honorable it was as a, what a great scientist that made Ravel that he could come back and say, my theory was wrong. It that's the sign of a great scientist when he can realize his theory is wrong and state so. Because now we're entrapped by all these scientists who are receiving these tens of millions of dollars a year for their institutions to study global warming. All these scientists receiving that money and if they do what Ravel did and said, wait a minute, it's not really happening. If they were to do that, their money would be cut off. Sure. They couldn't send their mortgages. They couldn't send their kids to college. Uh, their wives would leave them. So they just stick with it. It's not going to be the public debate. It's not going to be politics that settles the fight. It's going to be science. And this is what I was telling you, that science is going to produce a new way to our, our civilization that is so sensational that we will turn off our use of CO2, and when we turn off our, our fossil fuel, uh, the whole thing's over. It's over. We're not producing any more CO2. They don't have a basis to complain. Their whole gripe fest dies. I can hardly wait, but uh, I don't think I'll live that long, but I think it's about 30 years away when we have a totally new power regime for our civilization uh, based on graphene that uh, will just wipe out uh, the whole argument and end the debate. You can, by the way, go to YouTube and you'll find my report on graphene. That's G-R-A-P-H-E-N-E. -E. Graphene, uh, invented by two French scientists, won the Nobel Peace Prize, uh, Nobel Science Prize in 2009. And uh, more than 30 patents have been issued for graphene products at this point. And it is uh, the most powerful, the hardest, best conductor, most amazing substance ever created by man. It can substitute for the steel and the aluminum in our vehicles. And get this, we will be able to build a paint with it. If you paint a car with it, it will produce enough power power that car forever. Incredible. All right, folks, that's going to do it for tonight's broadcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the official Alex Jones channel on YouTube, and we will be back tomorrow night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time on Prison Planet TV. Till then, y'all have a blessed evening, and we'll see you back right here tomorrow night. See you. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. The InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.